Hey guys. So I mutated uh, something. And yeah, what did I mutate? This this fortitude damage reduction. And well, I don't know. Did I do something else? I um, don't think so. Mm, but I wanted to hey. ooh, take a look around here. Welcome. In the town, one more time. <laughs> Gerald, he just has to light everything on fire, he sees. Or the opposite. He just can help it. So, how are you? You're not welcome here. What? You're an elf. You should be like more forgiving. Death to the Ooh, death to the squirrels. All right. Any work for a witcher? Enough work for three. But what of it? With poor folk, I'm sure we can work something out. You best go to Flotsam Town Square near the inn. There are notices on the board there. Mm, Just we saw that. Troll B, please, no matter what the townsfolk say. Why that? I heard you don't want to get rid of the troll. Who will maintain the bridge when he's gone? Hire some people. Know the cost of a craftsman these days? That idiot troll looks after the bridge for petty tolls, more or less. <laughs> the bridge is in ruins and the troll's robbing people. Aye, it's because he's hit the bottle. You could help him stop boozing. I'm a witcher, not a nanny. I'll pay you well. How much? Oh, suddenly he has money. A hundred orens. Two hundred. You're costly, but what the hell? Let him see I place the village's welfare above all else. All right, fancy pants. So now we can see where the troll has his lair. I've seen better. Sure, yeah. Let's take a look inside here. And by that I mean looting the hell out of this place. Hello, good woman. I'm just admiring your stuff. Jesus, this, uh, that's a lot of timber. How's your health, Grandma? Well enough, Sonny. Ooh. Oof. What are you looking for here in Lobbinden? Didn't expect Seems that. Well, well. Behind Seems under I that um, veil there. Now just to outlast Lorido. And I'll be on my way. Alright. Take it, take it all. God bless you. Sure. How's your health, Grandma? Well enough, Sonny. Kingslayer. Well, well, now just. Kingslayers, indeed. Oh, there was something there, right? Am I seeing things? Open, open. Uh, I probably am. Death to the squirrels. Mm. That's what I say. Yeah, I don't want to just go around and loot. But every time I kind of look around, you also meet people, so um, yeah, I kind of want to record that. And more timber. Great. Ah, I haven't crafted anything yet. Those children are a plague. <laughs> a day like any other. Twins again. 
Man, this land is sure full of ones. Diamond dust. Oh, all right, bless ya. Let's not overdo it. Girls? Hmm, good question. I think part three deals with that. All right, guys. What? what? Why are you following me? I'm not a squirrel. Those children. Oh, where are we here? This looks like the port. Oh yeah, of course, we have been here. There's the good old tower. And some guy waiting for us there. Apparently. There's this, that woman. I doubt they will have anything important to say. Yeah, it's just a guard, of course. We met in Vizima, remember? And I've talked to this one, yeah. I don't know anything sure, else. Sure, I'm sorry. My mistake, my bad. Dude, this time I didn't even draw my sword. What I was to convey. Now okay, so I get it, I get it. We've uh, done all the quests in this area. There should be a guy in the evening. I meditated for a while and I thought it would be like evening now. Uh, dusk, midnight. Okay. Sorta, huh? Greetings. In front of the inn, it said. It's not evening enough, I guess. The townsfolk are gone. Well, maybe he's inside the inn. What is this, anyway? Feather? Oh, the walls here look interesting. Alright. Whatever you say. Oh, is this that woman or does she just resemble that elven woman? <laughs> okay, calm down. This looks interesting. Orange. I meant those herbs, singies, flowers. I don't know. Diamond. Everybody has diamonds. The poor town folks. My ass. Oh well, it's just dust, right? Key. Mystic River. Drop the report into the post box of the Royal Mail. So this is the Royal Mail. Oops. <laughs> nah, I wasn't trying to loot anything here. Don't worry. I'm just here to talk. Review the other letters in the box. Also keep in mind that there could be another boat wreck. So there are other b uh, boat wrecks. Alright. Eh... Uh, yeah, this we had that. And everything else as well. Um what should I review? Oh well. Let's just take the money that is waiting for us here. There's a letter on the desk. Don't you wanna read it? They're all looking at me like s they knew they know what I'm doing there. Very skeptic. Peeling. Oh, 
this is a nice chest. Don't you want to open it? Do. It's so quiet suddenly. Are you scheming here? They all look at me like I'm like a like I'm a thief, <laughs> which I am. They just wait around all day, waiting for some someone to come by and talk to them. Just look at them, standing, hands uh, at the hips. Yeah, all right. You do you. Well, she's at least like cleaning up here. Flow, silver with your hair, flow, flow. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. And he vanishes. Oh, this is uh, Vernon. Ugh. <laughs> that fire. Vernon Roch. That's all he ever says. Uh, I told a witcher to put things. What's going on, girl? What now? Got a plan? No, that's looks like you're on the reader's shit list. How can the commander of a Temerian garrison just piss all over the commander of Holtest's special forces? The blue stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you haven't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. But the reader's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. All right, what now? We arrived in Flotsam, we saw the killer, we pissed everyone off. <laughs> next? If the Kingslayer is in your best care, how to kill him? If we go out into that forest... Which is? Grounds, all we'll find is our own we have town. seen. We'll visit Lurito as invited. But he is probably gone to keep them... In the meantime, to keep the main quest going. Flotsam's in the wilderness. It's a good hi hideout. A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Squiatel. Flotsam isn't just any other town. It isn't? It's Mary, Redain, Kedwin, and Edwin. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam. On the border between Temeria and Edda. With Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the other. The most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lurita in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Bergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive, to say the least, Richard. See ya. So, yeah, I don't even know if I want to sell anything here, but I do want to grab me some insecticide, pesticide, you know. Oh, I guess I want to do some selling and trading. I'll cut the video here. Okay, sold some stuff, but that's not the guy I'm looking for here. Um, I need the one where I can store. <laughs> I can store some stuff. Oh, timber, I see. Yeah, and I have seen I need to craft that silver sword somehow, somewhere. I should take a 
closer look around in the town. Anyway, let me store some things. Be right back. All right, we need uh, silver ore, two silver ore. Got to remember that. That's interesting. The pickaxe does a little more damage, but I don't think it will be good to handle in a fight. We will see. Okay, so I stored everything. We still need some silver ore. And maybe a place to like craft, I guess. I'm still mm, used to that from M MMOs. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Hmm. All right. Let's take one more look around here. Where haven't we been? Have we really been everywhere here? It's all like. Yeah, it's not that big, but. Mutant. Yeah, you go. And. Blossom's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Won't even wag my tongue. There must be. Yeah, there are crafters scattered around. I guess you need to talk to the NPCs in order to do that for you. Non-human district. The town isn't very big, but they have a district. Well, probably just living quarters, right? Nonsense, just nonsense. Whoa. Greetings. What brings you here, White Wolf? Make yourself at home, please. Do we know each other? I've heard, or rather read much about you, in the letters of the Rivian Diaspora. Well, nice to meet you. Einar Gausel, fundamentally a trader in old curios, although I also concern myself with a non-human community. Oh, he does everything. <laughs> he even can change my hairstyle. That's awesome. I'd like a squirrel's tail. Low half ponytail. Elven style. Let out. Dove braid. Full ponytail. Centrian pendulum. Shaved temples and a po ponytail. Let's try this. Ah, oh, you. Cutthroat. I don't even get a preview. All right, let's do it. Probably looks horrible. Uh, well, this we'll have to do. Uh, I, I, I like stole 35 iron from him, so I basically almost got it for free. And now I got it for free. Well, stealing is hard work. The Fuel Society and its enemies from the annals of Mahakaman history. Alright. There's a lot to read here. Enhancement. Grand tri Triple. No, we've talked enough. Jesus. Alright, more stuff. Hammer, rusty dagger, dagger. What I need is a silver sword, my friend. Okay, I think I've got it all now, yeah. Interesting though. I might want to take a look at the books. Let me see. Um, here. Oh, right. Oh, there you go. The Fuel Society and its enemies. 
Scoia'tael is a name used by the rebels fighting for non-human freedom. In the common tongue it means squirrels. As some would have it, it is because of squirrel tails that adorn the rebels' caps, or from the forest board they had to survive on. Scoia'tael formed units over a score strong consisting mainly of elves, yet sometimes dwarves and halflings oh, halflings exist, I didn't even know that Giant 2, this is like Tolkien universe like Middle Earth during the last war against or d d or many many other fantasy stuff anyway, during the last war against Nilfgaard the Skriatel fought on the side of the Empire making diversions and great damage beyond our lines Despite the provisions of, of the Peace of Citra, many did not disarm and continued to fight. Especially when it turned out that Nilfgaard sacrificed them in the name of peace and gave the unit's leaders to the Nordlings to be executed. <laughs> yeah, that's how things go, right? <clears throat> so yeah, that's the thing with the elves in, in, in the Witcher universe. Um, they're really treated badly and then fucked and then fucked over again and like minorities yeah it, it has a loose political connection to the real world right it, it's kind of like demonstrating how hmm yeah if if you're a minority it can happen that um well it is like Look at the in in Europe at at the terrorists. They usually strive for independence, and at a, at a certain point, they uh, most of them go the the road like um, the end justifies the mean, right? And little criminality involved, more or less. Sometimes more, sometimes less, and it's then it kind of gets mixed up and I it's just a rough stand that you have in, in such a place right and it's easy to like scapegoat those that are not uh, especially liked from the beginning and blame them for all sort of things that they're not really responsible for like in this case from the annals of mm, Mahakaman history. Dwarves are one of the elder races, so this is like the introdu introduction to the races. Stocky and bearded, with strongly built bodies and low voices. They are distinguished for their height, which is lower than human. Of simple and direct manners, they are sometimes seen as grumpy, unkind and greedy. Oh. <laughs> I have to stress that my own opinion of the dwarves <laughs> how come is by no means similar to the latter part because of, is he a dwarf, dwarf himself I only cite it here to present the views of other people is this the guy did he wrote it himself that he belonged to the book the, the book belonged to I only cite it here to present the views of other people if, even if they are dull Dull-minded, hate-blinded buffoons. All right, he is some sort of dwarf, probably. Mehekem is the dwarf's mountainous homeland, famed for its numerous mines where precious stones and ores are mined. I could use some of those. Many dwarves also live in human cities, for the race usually adapts to new neighbors easily. Something that cannot be, unfortunately, said about the large part part of humanity. Despite vexations, persecution and even bloody pro pro pogroms? pogroms, I guess, the coexistence with dwarves goes a lot better than with elves. It does. Their flair for trade and craft makes them excellent mer merchants, bankers, and smiths and armorers. So they are valued for their uh, craftsmanship. The Grand Triple. Great Melitelli is, among others, the patron of love, marriage, fertility, nature, and abundance. 
Her cult came to be through the blending of those beliefs many different races and cultures held about these aspect, aspects of life. Melitelli's popularity never waned and the phenomenon is explained in various ways. I think the causes are prosaic myself. The cult, the cult of Melitelli is a predominantly woman cult and the goddess is, among others, the protector of women and childbirth. A delivering woman has to scream, and apart from the usual yells and empty promises that she will never give herself to another mangy man again, the <laughs> whoever wrote that, the woman has to call some deity for help, and Meditelli fits the bill perfectly. Because women were delivering, deliver, and will be delivering, the goddess Meditelli does not have to worry about a lowering of the number of worshippers. Mm, all right, she is like a, a mother type of goddess, right? Giving birth and such, love, everything involved, fertility. Let's vandalize some more. What's that sound? Oh, it's just you. I'll be gone in a minute. Just a sec. <laughs> they all snore, right? It's not like... The whole game kind of uh, shows um, people with no manners. Kind of like me. <laughs> Well, they're just expressing themselves without shame, without giving too much of a thought about it. They're just like farting and drinking and snoring and... I mean, you cannot really influence that, but you know what I mean. And uh, it's, it's like a real... not primitive life, but it's a... Uh, it's really grounded and not not fancy at all. It's just uh, that's just I don't know. Too bad. I need still <coughs> And yeah, maybe that's what what RPGs and medieval the love of things that are medieval um, kind of satisfy that urge to to go back to like simple things and even whoa yeah sometimes you need it rough right <laughs> that's quite gruesome they um, that's a lot of detail <laughs> for that oh well makes the game more realistic. I mean, it is a murder, in a sense, right? That's what a vegetarian would say. You, you're killing a living being, and... Oh, well all right. Um, I'm not sure if everyone had to, like, kill their food themselves. If they're like that, like you've seen there. Uh, if there wouldn't be more vegetarians among us. But on the other hand, people get used to basically, well, not everything, but a lot of things. Watering the, the plant life. Okay. Have we been here? I don't even know. Is that the house I just entered? Nope. Ah, oh, what's that? Rusty dagger? Leather. Alright, so, yeah, you kind of want to experience that roughness just to see how it, how it would be. Not to really have that for the rest of your life, right? You, you and I, <laughs> I hope at least enjoy 
a certain amount of uh, luxuries that the modern world provides. Um, Oh, these guys. Well, this is quite a pissing contest here. Oh, and this is the guy that promised us uh, the money. Mysterious merchant. What's so mysterious about you? Crafting diagram. Oh, I totally forgot the... What? Oh. Give me that. That's great. What about that armor? Uh, plus eight. Mm, I gotta check, kinda. See? I fulfilled my quest. Oh, no. Wow. That's way better than that pickaxe. Nah, it's the, the wrong slot anyway, but finally, Dwarven eggs, 10 to 20, uh, this will probably be more effective. It's not just a Witcher silver sword, but it's even a ro robust one. Isn't that great? Awesome. Ah, you just need to look around. Forget the iron ore. I still want to know how the crafting functions, so... I mean, it is said on the map. Craftsman, so I guess it has to do with that. In some way, shape or form. Oh, I, I'm right here at, at this way that leads out of town. Kind of want to check that out. What's this? Oh, oh, that stupid face. I've looked on that face one too many times. Was the... Did I come here before? This looks familiar. We'll wait out here. Make it quick. Another elven mob lynching. What's going on here? This smells like a monster to me. Oh, blood. A lot of blood. And I'm about to find out who it belonged to. <laughs> Melina. It's a quest. I don't know which quest though. Hmm. Alright, auto save. That's promising. Not in a good way though. More blood. It's always nice. Oops. Growling. Or oh, is it the wind? Yeah, you little necker shit. I have a witch sword now. Oh, I forgot the insect. Insect antidote shit, but well, those are different guys anyway. Ah, fuck this. Oh, they are Jesus, they are a lot, first of all, and they also like program to fall back if I leave there. Nest, basically. Holy hell, how many are there? They're a little coward. Little cowards. And a bleeding effect. That's too much for me. Oh, by the way, I do have some stuff that I could, like, throw at them. Uh, I'll guess it's a uh, moment to take a break. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.